what I'm doing at the moment, I'm running at a 3.925 CPU core ratio overclock in offset mode with a 0 0.03125 um, offset voltage but I'm also in DigiRAM running uh, load line calibration level 3 current capability of 130% still running T-Probe power control running extreme phase control level 3 130% on current capability in the SOC and uh, SOC power phase control is set to extreme. Heat sinks on the power control MOSFETs and stuff, they're, they're getting a little bit warmer, definitely getting a little bit warmer, but not really getting warm at all. It's not just did um, that stress test and it wasn't too bad at all. Now let's just go back and just up this to 40. Okay? Let's just see what happens if we put it to 40. Let's go 40 and see if we can pull it off. Not changing anything else. Got everything else pretty much max voltage I'm happy with. So um, let's see if we can just run this at 4 gigahertz now. Okay, well we got uh, Ryzen Master software up and see we've got the 4 gigahertz. It's idling at the moment around the, the 46, 44, 43 C mark. Let's uh, just throw a little bit of juice through it with CPU-Z. See what happens. CPU-Z stress test is nowhere near as intensive as an OCCT one, but I like to just get it up there quick just to just to, you know, if it can't pass this, it's not going to pass the, an OCTT. So even though I've lowered the offset voltage because of the load line, load line calibration modifications I made by putting up to level 3 and 130%, um, it's now boosting the core voltage all the way up to 1.45, and there it crashed. So, no, still not stable at 4 gigahertz. Dun dun dun. Sad panda. Okay, well, the 4 gigahertz wasn't stable. Let's see if 3.98 is. What I've ended up doing here is just maxing out, um, just well, putting up the voltage as much as I'm comfortable with. And now I'm just going to test it and find out what speed that that's stable at. The quick testing just to see what the temperature gets to and if it's quick stable I just like using CPU Z and then for a final test I'll do a you know, 25 minute half hour OCCT run. Temp's getting a little bit high but um, for some reason with the power curve the fan curve I've set in at the moment it will probably go all the way up to about 80 degrees then all the fans will ramp up to you know about 50 60 percent power and then it'll drop back down to like 72 73. And here the fans are starting to ramp up now haven't fully ramped up it's just um still in quiet mode well, so far it's really stable 1.439 volts, it's fairly high, but C states are enabled, it'll only be doing that much voltage when it's under load. 1.439, Yeah, fans ramped up, it's going to drop down to 73, 73.5 degrees. Probably get down to 72. Uh, I'll get back to you if this one's safe. Okay, we're going to have one more go at getting it at 4 gigahertz. Tweaked it from extreme on line, uh, load line calibration to ASUS 
um, optimized, seem to have made a big difference. But we'll soon find out. This doesn't really kick in until we get to the one minute mark. 58 seconds, 59 seconds, one minute in. Well, there's a crash straight off the bat, that's always a good sign. Oh, there it crashed there. Ducky, ducky, ducky noise. No good. Okay, touch wood. Seems like we may have a stable overlook at 3.95 gigahertz. The temperature did spike up fairly high up around the 76 mark, but as soon as the fans kicked in into the highest high speed, it's uh, knocked it back down to 70, what was that, 73, now it's back up to 74. It's staying around stable around there. Still could you know, give it a bit more time. It could crash any second now, but it's fine if it's done. You know, if it, if it can do five minutes of OCCT stress test, um, it's fairly stable. <laughs> then, um, if it's going to probably pop, it's probably would have already popped by now, but it's. Touch wood, don't be too confident. Um, big difference seemed to be in the load line calibration, I changed it from um, extreme to ASUS optimize. Uh, that seemed to have given me a little bit more oomph. Okay. Yep, um, ended up getting 3.95 gigahertz is my stable overclock can't seem to be going past much that 3.95 gigahertz with BIOS version 0805 let's see what happens when we update to the latest BIOS 